This is a quick update on the Chinese house that I defoliated and uh, just zoom in to show how the cats are building up and the foliage is returning and uh, just go further down the tree and uh, until we get to the pot. I've been tidying up the pot and I've removed a lot of moss and also clean the pot and I've done three sides so this is the last side remaining I cleaned it with sprayed it with water removed the excess water dried it and now to remove the any debris or earth or any other particles foreign bodies and now um, I'm using olive oil I've said before uh, I also have camellia oil, but I only use that when I'm displaying at exhibitions. One thing which dawned on me was that everyone is so hooked up on uh, fo the, and the focus of the tree that people have completely neglected to mention the importance of having a clean pot. I have been thinking about the pots, bonsai pots in the trees and I liken it to um, a very good family photograph which you have in a very nice silver frame. And bonsai trees are no different. Uh, this is the frame and that's the picture. And it's uh, going back to the silver frame. If it's left unpolished, it becomes tarnished and detracts from the beautiful picture which it houses. And pots are no different and I would suggest that uh, spend five minutes to polish the pot and if you have more time then tidy up the pot, remove the weeds and also the moss which tends to climb over the trunk which is not good for the tree because um, the moss is constantly damp and um, which keeps the bark damp and eventually the bark will rot and the tree will die and I have today removed a lot of moss from this tree which was um, around this trunk basically at the base and it creeps up if, uh, um, if unchecked and this one I hadn't touched for a couple of years and again this is the result. I did work on it recently but I didn't touch the pot and also you see a few of the mistakes now here is the root which is going over a much bigger root. So this is wrong. At the next report this root will be taken out. Today I have uh, cleaned up the pot which I didn't do when I last defoliated the tree and also removed a lot of the moss and uh, exposed a few things which I wasn't aware of is uh, this root here which I'm moving is going over a much bigger root. I have sort of worked on the pot cleaning it and also removing a lot of the moss. All this was all this was covered in moss this part here this even this this bit was covered and it shouldn't be as uh, I've said on previous occasions the moss is constantly damp and when it starts to creep up the trunk the bark is constantly wet and eventually it will rot and the tree will die. This part I've yet to do. Well here it is, it's all tidied up now and um, I'll give it a quick turn. The uh, pot is now nice and tidy, the weed free and the uh, moss has been removed and the actual pot has been actually cleaned and polished. It does make a big difference. That's all for today except for me to say that do clean that pot not just um, of weeds and moss but also the exterior of it by cleaning it with water and then drying it and then using olive oil and then buffing it. I, in business life I have I always found that it's the little things that made a profound difference and I suspect bonsai is no different. Thank you for watching.
to watch more please subscribe also don't forget to like share and comment bye for now this is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London